Good evening. I'm Jay Thomas, and I'm on the set of one of television's most popular shows, and my personal favorite, Murphy Brown. Now, usually when I'm here, I play the sweet, sensitive, obnoxious, sarcastic, and maybe fertile Jerry Gold. But tonight, I'm here for a different reason. To host a show that pays tribute to the people behind the scenes that make us, the actors, look and sound good. Like, like our crew tonight. What, what is your name, please? Hank. Hank. Testing one, two, three. You got me, Hank? Keep the shadow out of my face. All right. And you, keep me in focus. Now, you've heard the term Emmy before. It's television's highest honor. Actors win Emmys. Shows win Emmys. But also, each year, there are hundreds of people, like Hank, who work on the other side of the camera that also win Emmys for their exceptional work. Now, this program is for them. And we're calling it the Making of America's Best Television, the Creative Arts Emmy Awards. I'm a lucky guy right now, and I owe a lot to my friends on Murphy Brown, because I won an Emmy as guest actor in a comedy series this year. This is my Emmy. No one here touch it. All of the shows we feature tonight are scripted and created by a team of writers. Our next nominee is based on true stories. It's a reality show that profiles cases involving missing persons, lost loves, and mysterious legends. The NBC program Unsolved Mysteries was nominated as one of the outstanding informational series of the year. In the last three years, they've solved 56 cases. And as you'll see, the results can be very dramatic. Also. We'll discover what a guest actor really does on a typical day on the set of Murphy Brown. Power 106 at 15 after 8 o'clock. Our Men of Slime guest today, Ross Jeffries, the author of the book, How to Get the Women You Desire into Bed. Basically, I run a classy show on L.A. radio. What is your degree in? Uh, math Econ. Math Econ. Yeah. I know you haven't math had any life. sex. <laughs> because I'm a guest star on TV, I have a lot of jobs. Okay, Jay, you ready? Okay. You see, uh, being a guest star is great and all that, but you have to do other things to make full-time money, like fruit juice commercials. All right. Instead of the same old juice, try something refreshingly different. Add a little color to your day. I talk like this all the time. Hi, how are you? Nice meeting you. <laughs> I'm not complaining, though, and it's all worth it, especially when I get to the studio and on to the set of Murphy Brown. Hi, Miss Thomas. How are you? Hi, good. I'm doing Murphy Brown. Okay. Hey, can you tell me who the father is? Well, I can't tell you who the father is. Oh, come on. You can trust me. I won't tell a soul. No, you call me Mr. Thomas today, but yesterday you called me stupid. I'm not going to tell you. Well, then what's it like to work with her? I'm not going to tell you that. You mean kissing and all that stuff? Yeah. No, I can't tell you that. Well, it's just between you and I. Oh, right. I, oh, that's the way to go. I'm, I'm not, oh, no more questions. Well, you know, I'd read for a, a, a regular part on this show. And they thought I was uh, overbearing and obnoxious in the audition. So when they wrote Jerry Gold, they said, hey, remember that overbearing, obnoxious guy we had in? Let's have him back. Well, hi there, co-workers. Jerry's here. Yes, the happy day has finally arrived. And who'd have thought it, huh? Jerry Gold on FYI. You know, I wish I'd brought my camera. I mean, talk about your Kodak moments. Jay Thomas, what do you say about a guy like Jay Thomas? What do you say? I don't know what to say except, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Well, a guest performer is uh, somebody who comes in and, and usually uh, is the focus of, of one specific, you know, show. And with me, um, here in Murphy Brown, it's turned into quite a few shows and a lot of focus. Jay Thomas is one of the finest actors, gentleman, a joy to work with. And if he does not win, I think this is the second, the second year in a row that he's been nominated. If he does not win, I will not. I, I'm telling you, I will not be back on Murphy Brown next year. I do get a little nervous. I didn't have a date in high school. I'm about to do a scene with uh, Candace Bergen, so a little nervous, okay? Well, gee, I guess the rumor's true. They found traces of Phil's meatloaf and Zachary Taylor's remains. <laughs> As a great guest you performer, doing? you really, hopefully, you do your part 
and you make sure that you realize who the star of the show is and you have to also uh, make that guest star uh, comfortable with you at the same time. Candace is very, very nice. Yeah, we're real tight. Yeah. <laughs> she lets me watch her Sprint commercials. This set will always bring back uh, memories to me. Uh, when I sit here on this couch, I think, well, I kissed Candace here and I kissed Candace here. And we broke up over there. We broke up, we broke up here one time. The, uh, the, the, the greatest memory I have, and uh, it was uh, my nightmare. I had this, uh, this whale suit on. I have to enter as a sperm whale. Hello. Are you the lady that us? Jerry. Oh, no. I'm Willie the whale, and this Japanese fleet's trying to kill me. I hear you run some sort of halfway house for my kind. So what do you say? You saved me, baby. <laughs> I'm a sperm whale. Jay Thomas is one of a kind. I mean, there's no other way to put it. There is one Jay Thomas, and there isn't a day that goes by when we all don't say to each other, thank God there's just one Jay Thomas. I've become like this odd sex symbol. Um, it's like ugly guys come up to me and say, you know, you're our hero. Guys under like 5'6", you're my hero now. So go on. Looking at you. Shut up. Well, at least I'll always have my radio show. You know, let's change the subject completely here. Did I ever tell you about the time I went to Murphy Brown's bedroom and was hunting for spermicidal jelly? Uh... Outstanding guest actor in a comedy series. The nominees are. I really wanted to win, and I felt badly about that on the one. And then when I saw the competition, these are all these actors that I admired. I couldn't believe I was against them. And uh, my heart starts beating fast. I wondered what I was going to do if I lost. And the Emmy goes to... Jay Thomas, Murphy Brown. And my wife said, whatever you do, don't thank me. That's what she says, okay? That's what you need to hear, right? Before you go up. Truly, it's a shock to me. I've spent over 20 years in radio because I was a failed actor and I could never make a living as an actor and I didn't have the guts to do what the other character actors who always do is just act, act, act. Thank you so much. Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, uh, we had a lot of fun tonight, but winning an Emmy really does mean a lot, whether you work in front of the camera or behind it. For me, it means I'm going to renegotiate. And I'm very glad we had a chance to meet some of the gifted people who helped make America's best television. Thank you and good night.